Hello and welcome beautiful soul to this divine guidance meditation. If the title of this meditation has drawn you in, then allow yourself to trust that this is the universe's way of letting you know any information or messages that you need to know for today. Somebody must have manifested this channeling guidance meditation. I wasn't going to do a meditation recording today and as I was going about my morning routine of relaxing and doing my self-care rituals of taking a walk, drinking my tea, I kept getting this strong urge that I needed to do a channeling meditation. And so I just let it be and I went about my day and it's now this afternoon and I still have this strong urge to do this channeling meditation. So this meditation is going to be a little different. We're going to start with a simple breathing relaxation technique to begin with. I am then going to draw a message or an affirmation from the Alana Fairchild pack, The Enchanted Heart, which is affirmations and guidance for hope, healing and magic. And then I'll channel some affirmations. And all you need to do is just connect with your breath, connect with the present moment and let any messages or affirmations that resonate with you absorb into your mind, body and spirit. So to begin, just close your eyes, connect with your breath, breathing in deeply, and exhaling completely. Soften your mind. Soften your body. And allow yourself to connect to the present moment. Breathing in. Feel the breath travel all the way down and through your body. And as you exhale, allow yourself to sink deeper into relaxation. Just connecting with your breath and with each breath allow yourself to sink a little deeper into relaxation. Bring your attention to your third eye or to the space between your eyebrows. And on your next in-breath, visualize drawing in through your third eye a white light. Imagine this white light coming in through your third eye and traveling all down through your body. It runs into your arms and your fingers. It runs down past your heart, your hips, down both legs, down into your feet. And as you exhale, just allow this beautiful healing light to settle deep 
into your body and to permeate between the space of all your cells. So breathing in, draw in that beautiful white healing light from the universe. Bring it all the way down into your body. And exhaling, let it ground into your body. Let the white light settle you, heal you, relax you, ground you. Just take a few moments to focus on your breathing and to focus on bringing this beautiful white healing light into your body. Filling your entire being with this beautiful light. Breathing in deeply. And exhaling completely. Relax into the stillness. Relax into the peace. Relax into this present moment. Breathing in, say thank you for everything that has happened to you in your life so far. And exhaling, say yes to everything that will happen going forward. Right now, right here, is exactly where you need to be. Everything that you have gone through, that you have endured, both the pain and the joy, has brought you to this very moment, to this very way of being. Breathing in, give thanks for all the wisdom, the lessons, the love, the joy, the pain that you have experienced up until this moment. For this has made you who you are today. Just take a moment to continue to breathe and to settle and make peace with this moment and where you are. Be proud of where you are today. I am now going to ask Divine Source or the Universe for any messages that we need to hear today. And as I read the messages and channel any affirmations and messages, just connect with your breath and just let anything that resonates with you permeate within your mind, body and spirit. And anything that doesn't resonate, just let it go. So 
So I'll initially draw a message or an affirmation from the cards and then I'll channel any messages or affirmations which will be more of a free flowing style. Dear Universe and Divine Creator, please bring forward any messages or affirmations that we need to hear today. So there's a card that keeps wanting to come out. The message is Bohemian Heart. And it says you can love someone while staying true to your path. It is by traveling your true path that you will find what your heart is seeking. Today the universe is reminding you to not live in a state of fear and try and change yourself and your dreams and your values in order to fit in with others or to be loved and accepted by others. Because when we live in a space of true authenticity and with genuine heart and love. We live from a space of unconditional love. And when we live from that space of true unconditional love, we attract unconditional love in return. We attract people, places, opportunities, that vibrate at our same energetic vibration. So we should never have to dilute ourselves, play small in order to fit in. We should never have to sacrifice our own hopes and dreams in order to make another happy. When we live in true alignment to our authentic selves, living in alignment to our own dreams, values and beliefs, we will automatically align with people that have similar beliefs or values. When we're brave enough to take down our armor, to soften our hearts, and to let our truth really show, that is when the magic and the miracles happen. That is when love will find us. That is when opportunities will find us. And that is when abundance and manifestation truly starts to flow more effortlessly into our life. A bohemian heart is a free heart. A free heart is one that chooses to love unconditionally. And unconditional love, it requires strength, but it's certainly a beautiful place and space to step into. Because unconditional love, it asks that you drop all expectations from others. It asks for you to show up with love and generosity and kindness without any expectation of getting that in return. Unconditional love 
it invites you to drop all the 3D templates and karmic patterns of control, manipulation, ways of trying to make others love us and accept us. And it just asks for you to show up as your truth. To show up bravely. To give all that you have to give. And to be strong enough to still stand in unconditional love when others project negativity onto you or treat you unfairly or with no love. The Bohemian Heart, it is a braver heart and you can't truly experience true love and real love unless you're willing to step into that space of unconditional love. And this can be really scary because you can show up to the world wanting to give it all your love and you get nothing in return. But a bohemian heart, it knows that it's strong enough to do that, to be the light and to show unconditional love continuously, no matter what is projected back. To hold a bohemian heart is to live with true freedom. And the only way to true freedom is to live with unconditional love for all that is. Living in a space of unconditional love, it requires us to rise strong. It requires us to stay aligned to the high vibrational frequency of love at all times, no matter what is projected our way. The free-flowing Bohemian Heart, it is willing to show love freely and unconditionally. It is pure in its intentions. It has no interest of manipulation or control. It has no expectation. The Bohemian Heart, it just wants to show up and love unconditionally. It takes strength to hold a Bohemian Heart. But it is the secret to true freedom and true happiness. For when we hold a bohemian heart that lives with unconditional love, we allow ourselves to love more freely, to express more freely, to trust more freely. And when we dwell in this beautiful space that is truly where the miracles, the magic, the joy, the love, the passion, 
the abundance starts to flow more freely our way. The unconditional love of a bohemian heart. It is brave to love recklessly. It is brave to express love even if the love is not returned. For the bohemian heart knows that its purpose in life is to shine a light, to ignite a spark and to love all that is unconditionally. The purpose of the Bohemian Heart is to bring light and love into all the denser, negative, darker spaces of our 3D existence. Our 3D templates in this world makes it hard for unconditional love to happen easily because fear, control, manipulation, power, the need to be right. But those with the bohemian heart are brave enough to rise above those lower vibrational frequencies of the ego. When you tune in and align with the unconditional love of your bohemian heart, you truly are set free. You truly find peace and you truly find love for both yourself and everything that is. Whilst the unconditional love of the bohemian heart is happy to give love freely and to continue to show up with light, it also has the wisdom to know when to set healthy boundaries and to withdraw its high vibrational love. It does this with unconditional love. And it does this in a way it's willing to give those that hurt us several chances. The Bohemian Heart, it knows how much love it has to give and it honours its capacity. It knows when it's time to tune out and to restore itself with a bit of peace and quietude. And it knows when it's time to go back out and give love unconditionally. The Bohemian Heart, it truly is unwavering. It's a rare gift in our world at the moment, especially in a world filled with competition, overstriving, manipulation. The only language that the bohemian heart resonates with is things of kindness, love, peace, intuition, 
fairness for all, gentleness, acceptance, The Bohemian Heart, it doesn't happen overnight, it takes almost a lifetime to master. But the more that you're willing to put yourself in spaces and places of judgment, rejection, ridicule, failure, the more that you can open your heart, the more you connect with empathy, And it's through these experiences that the heart will strengthen and wisdom will be gained. The Bohemian Heart, it is empathetic, it is loving, it is playful, it is childlike, it is serious at times. but it's always unconditional and this is the hardest lesson in life to learn. When someone treats us bad or unfairly, the ego wants to treat them bad in return. But the bohemian heart, it invites us to just shine light and love back to the negativity. It asks us to choose kindness over needing to prove that we're right. It asks us to step back and let someone else take the limelight and to just humbly go about our day doing the best that we can. We don't need to broadcast all our good deeds. We don't need to tell everyone all the good things that we've done. And just because we've done something good for others and they may treat us bad, we don't need to always call them out. Sometimes silence and just standing in unconditional love is the only expression that's needed. We don't need to feed our ego with the need to be better than, to be more powerful than, to be more right than, to prove ourselves more than. We just need to know that we find our strength, our grace in unconditional love. We live in a world where many people need to broadcast their opinion, need to make others believe what they believe. Now this is neither wrong nor right, but as a bohemian heart, you truly know that there's always two sides to the opinion, to the story, to the agenda. The Bohemian Heart knows that we live in a world of duality and just because it believes something's right, there's reasons why others believe another thing is right. 
So therefore, a bohemian heart, it does not judge. It does not condemn. It just tries to accept and understand. And if it can't accept or understand, the bohemian heart, it knows that silence is often more powerful than needing to be heard. Yes, there are times where we have to set boundaries and call out certain behaviours. But most times, just silence and unconditional love is the space where healing and transformation of others can happen. So just breathing in deeply, just breathe deep into your bohemian heart and as you breathe, visualize the unconditional love growing, visualize acceptance for all, visualize giving forgiveness freely. Visualize giving love unconditionally with no rules or expectations. Breathing in, let your heart expand. Let it fill more and more with the energy of unconditional love. Remind yourself to love for the sake of just loving. Don't love in order to get validation, for this is not love. Don't love in order to get acceptance, for this is not love. Don't love in order to get something, for this is not love. Just love to give love and give it freely, give it open-heartedly, give it tenderly. And whilst we still live in a world where there are many people that will take your unconditional love and not appreciate it, they may abuse it, they may ridicule it. Just trust that your love, your unconditional love, it is making a difference in some small way. It does create a small spark within others, even if it is unconscious to them at the time. Showing up with unconditional love and holding a bohemian heart, it is the only way that we can change the trajectory of fear, pain, suffering of the world that we live in. When we show up with true unconditional love, dropping any need for the love to be reciprocated back to us. We shine a light for others. We set an example. We raise the vibration and the frequency 
of the energy that surrounds our earth. And over time, the more that people are exposed to the unconditional love, the more they will feel it. They will resonate with it. They will appreciate it. So showing up with unconditional love, it is the change that we need for a better world. It is what we need to live a truly joyful, peaceful and love-centered life. So just take a moment to think of ways where you can show up with unconditional love in your life. Maybe in your family and your friend circle. Just show up and serve them with no expectation. Just give them love, show them love, send them love. In romantic relationships, just dare to show up fully in love even if it risks being hurt, betrayed or rejected. In society, when people show you fear, show them love. Show up with a good attitude, with love and kindness. Just show them love and kindness. The Bohemian Heart, it does not lower its vibrational frequency to meet those on lower vibrational frequencies. The Bohemian Heart, it invites others to raise their own vibrational frequency and to meet them on their highest vibrational frequency. So just take a moment and promise yourself that you'll do your best to show unconditional love in all facets of your life. Promise yourself you'll do your best when the world is showing you fear, pain, anger, judgment, that you will just show it love and light. Yes, this is hard. But this is the vibrational frequency we need to get our current 3D world attuned to. So dare to love and lose than to never love at all. Dare to speak your truth. Dare to be real. Dare to be loving. Dare to be authentic, dare to be vulnerable, dare to be unseen. Give with the risk of being unappreciated, love with the risk of being unloved in return. For when we're brave enough, to step into this space of unconditional love and to show it to the world. That is when the true depths of the experience of life can be felt. That is when the mastery of the self can truly be obtained and enlightened. So dare to be brave by allowing the unconditional love in your bohemian heart to flow freely to all.
connecting with your breath. Attuning to your heart. Attuning to the frequency of true unconditional love. Just take a moment to remind yourself to show up with unconditional love at all times. Remind yourself to never dilute or play small and to just show your love and your light brightly. Just sit in this moment of feeling love for all. Bring your attention back to your breath. Bring your attention to the noises in the room around you. Bring your attention to yourself meditating in the room. Bring yourself back into your body. Invite a little movement into your body. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. You may like to take a gentle stretch of your hands above your head. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Bow your head. And send out an intention of unconditional love for yourself and all. The light in me bows to the light in you. May you live your life with ease, grace and unconditional love. Namaste.